Okay, chicken lettuce wraps. I know that anybody that's ever had one of these before loves it. And uh, I'm not going to do the uh, exact restaurant version because there's a lot of ingredients. I'm doing a version of it that is still excellent, but you can buy everything from your regular uh, grocery store uh, up the shelves. And uh, it's going to consist of uh, some chicken stock is here in this cup. I've got some sugar. I have oyster sauce. You can get in the Chinese section the hoisin sauce. Of course, the garlic. And if you like to kick it up, I use this uh, chili sauce here and just about anything I want to kick up Chinese-wise. Of course, you're going to need a head of lettuce, shiitake mushrooms, uh, water chestnuts with some scallions here, and I've got some cilantro here that's going to go with the sauce as well. And, of course, the main ingredient, chicken. And the first thing we got to do is start getting that going on the stove by itself. Okay, to the stove, very simple. Uh, this is usually used with canola oil. It doesn't matter really. I use the, the uh, olive oil. Just whatever your preference is. Just to really slick up your pan here and uh, get this chicken going. Okay, I got that spread out real good. This is just going to take, uh, you know, several minutes for it to cook thoroughly all the way through. You want to be real careful with your chicken. Now, the ratio for the ingredients as far as the uh, chicken, the shiitake mushrooms, and the uh, water chestnuts here is going to be two parts chicken to one part of each of those. That way it all spreads out pretty good with the uh, vegetables you're throwing in there. It's kind of a half and half mix with the meat. Now, let's make the sauce. Okay, now I've got some warm chicken stock here. It's about half a cup. I like to add my sugar to this first so it can dissolve. And I'm going to throw in a couple teaspoons. I need it sweet. I'm going to go with some oyster sauce. And again, we're going to go with a couple teaspoons. And then we're going to throw in the hoisin, and I'm going to throw in tablespoons of this. Now this is strong, so to your preference, definitely taste it and see what you want to work with as you're going along with it, because some people don't like a whole lot of this, but I'm telling you, after it's cooked and goes through the entire process with that uh, chicken lettuce wrap here, you're going to appreciate it. So I'm going to bit of that. I'm going to turn this into about a cup's worth of sauce. And then I like a good chunk of garlic here. I'm going to go in almost a teaspoon of that here. Already minced and emulsified. Stir that up real good. Just give it a taste. I'm going to put in some more hoisin. Okay, now I secretly added a little bit of hoist in there in between the video break. But anyway, now I like a little bit of kick. You don't have to do this. I just put a little squeeze in there. And uh, once again, give that a quick stir. Now, this is where you go back and you check on your chicken and uh, stir it around a bit. Make sure it's cooking evenly and thoroughly, which I've already done. So you can see where we're at with that. See? We're doing all right. Now, the only thing you're going to add to this while this cooks, gets all the water out and whatnot, is just some salt and pepper. My shaker sucks, so I've got to shake the shit out of it. Here is some pepper. All right. Little turny turny, tossy tossy. And uh, back over to the uh, vegetables because we need to slice up the uh, shiitake mushrooms and uh, really finely chop almost to a mince on that and the uh, water chestnuts. Okay, well, first things first here. I had uh, some uh, cilantro here on the side that I had to chop up real quick. And that you want to add to your sauce. Okay. Now the ratio, just so you know with this sauce, per mix, and when I say mix, I mean once it's all mixed, you've got all the chicken, all the shiitake mushrooms, and the water chestnuts 
all cooking, you're going to go about three ounces of sauce per eight ounces, which is a cup of mix, okay? But I've got about twice the amount of that chicken. That's why we're doing a full cup here, okay? So that's what we're looking at that way. Three ounces to eight ounces. All right. Now, shiitake mushrooms are hardcore. They've got uh, a lot of flavor to them. Some people like them, some people don't. So, again, this is going to vary in your taste. But like I said, the mix here with the veggies, you got two parts chicken, one part shiitake mushrooms, one part water chestnuts, and the scallions I've just thrown to mix in. Now, I'm going to chop this up finer, and I'm going to shred this almost to emulsion a uh, mint. Okay, just like that. Chopped them both up real nice. Got a little bit of a mint going on here. Now, listen, if you can't find shiitake mushrooms uh, over in the in the uh, produce section over there with the rest of the mushrooms, you can use regular mushrooms, or you can go find these over uh, a lot of times in the Chinese sections with the uh, all the sauces and the noodles and things like that on the dry shelf. You can find dehydrated shiitake mushrooms, and that's exactly what I did, is I just rehydrated them with water. Not a big deal. It just takes five, ten minutes to... Uh, soak up and absorb all that water and you can just chop them up like I've done here today, okay? Now, let's get to the rest of the video. Chicken is good to go. All I'm going to do now is throw it here in the strainer to make sure I lose all the fat and all the water and content and whatnot. And then I can throw it in another bowl and mix everything together. Okay, now I put the uh, shiitake mushrooms and the water chestnuts in a bowl. I've got the uh, chicken all strained. Throw that in there with it. Give it a real quick hand toss. Still real hot for you. A couple forks, spoons, whatever, no big deal. Just get it incorporated here, get it evenly spread. No big deal. If you want to have some fun and take this a step further, not required, but if you want to pick up some rice noodle, which is really cheap, and get some hot oil going, all you got to do is drop this in there. You see it inflates very quickly. I've got a little oil, so I've got to flip it over. So you got to make sure that it cooks thoroughly all the way through there, or you're going to have some hard pieces you can't chew. But the trick is, is you've got to pull it out quick, too, or it'll start getting some weird color on you. But this is a sweet noodle like this, and this is something that we uh, prepare the plate with across the bottom after we cook the uh, chicken lettuce wrap, and we pour all the chips mix over the top of that on a plate. And it just makes it fun. And now we're down to the final stages here. We've uh, got our mix, of course. Here it is on a plate. We've got oil. I'm using olive oil. Uh, a lot of times uh, canola oil is actually more fitting, but it's just my preference. Uh, the garlic, I've got sesame, store, uh, sesame oil. That'll be used at the very end. And, of course, my sauce. And I'm cooking this thing very hot, almost to high, okay? You want a real hot plate, which is what I've got right now. You're going to go just a couple tablespoons worth of olive oil here. And if I didn't have a crooked ass stove, this wouldn't be a big deal. I've got to spread that. All right. Uh, just a little bit of garlic, okay? You don't need a whole lot. Just can't. As soon as that's good, turn white. You add in your mix. Give it a good stir. Get that garlic flavor in there, okay? Now this cooks very fast. It only takes about a minute to do this. Just kind of gets a nice sear, and then you uh, add the sauce, which will boil into it. And reheat and constitute the whole mix. Okay, there we go. I've gotten it to reduce down quite a bit here. Looks good. Now, normally in a restaurant, you wouldn't have to have it reduced because you wouldn't be using as much sauce. Earlier, I told you the ingredients of this would be a lot more extensive if you had it available to you at a regular grocery store, but it's not. So we use a little bit more to make sure that it gets full of that flavor. Now, all I do is take very lightly the sesame oil. That's all it needs. It's just a real quick over the top. And uh, just turn it here a little bit. 
And then guess what? It's done. Run it here. Over the top. Going for the close up, shall we? Oh, yeah. Looks pretty good, eh? Okay. We'll serve it up here in a couple spoons. And served. Chicken lettuce wraps. Poor man's gourmet kitchen.